Good afternoon, North Oldham. Uh, my name is Mark Eck. I'm from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I'm going to be judging in visual performance. It's a wonderful day for a contest. Okay. Okay, nice projection of style from, from the onset. Uh, careful woodwinds on side one that we're really lifting up in terms of our posture. Um, kind of pulling ourselves up towards the judges boxes, being as tall as you possibly can be. Find the center of your body. Uh, careful not to look North around Oldham you. High school band. you may take the bill nice. For a I like the velocity in as we spin the boxes. <laughs> okay, and as we do these rotations, um, students, be very careful that you keep your shoulders squared to the front, that you don't turn your upper body to face the end zone and then turn it back to the front. I believe you're supposed to just make sure that uh, as you do those lateral slides to the left and to the right that we keep our body squared to the front. It's really easy to see those differences when you've got the, that uh, the design on the front of your uniform. Saxophone player right now on the 50 yard line. Be careful. Again, where is your body facing? Generally, the um, intervals along the front are good. Clarinet, clarinet player that are just on the 40 yard line. Again, you want to lift yourself up a little bit. Careful of your upper body. Make sure that your horn is facing the front. Well, let's look. Let's look straight forward, make sure that we guide down the form. Mm, like that. Nice use of body. Mm -hmm. um, certainly, uh, as we go through in, in terms of the uniformity of method, we just all want to make sure that we're matching each other in terms of the toe lift as we cross the... Uh, across the field, you know, we want to look like everybody around you. This is a minor issue, but it's something that you may want to address is that in terms of uniformity, we've got all of our uniforms, but some students are wearing dark socks, so I see some with bright white socks and one with no socks at all. And so when you're marching, especially when you do visuals with your, and you like kneeling, those things start to stick out to us and, and create a lack of uniformity. So just something you might want to address. Uh, not anything major at this point. I know it's the beginning of the season. We're <laughs> just trying to put it all on the field. Okay, that's an interesting idea. Uh, let's make sure that we all cross through those forms together. And again, um, woodwinds on side one. Make sure that you follow the guide point. Whoever's in the front sets the, the placement and then everybody else has to be squared behind them. Okay, we've got a lot of timing issues in our feet as we cross along the front with the brass line. Okay, that's a little better. Yeah, we just all have to step together. Nice change from the half time to the double time. Um, some alignment problems, just everybody looking towards the front. Uh, also some posture problems in our clarinet section over near the 40 yard line. Interesting, as, as we bend these lines. Um, yeah, students, just make sure that you take the, in, uh, the entire number of counts that's been allotted for that move. Uh, try not to arrive early or late, um, but take equal steps from beginning to end. Okay, I like the expansion of these lines. Just, again, just minor problems in terms of alignment. Um, front to back, and just looking down the diagonal. Oh, much better there. Like the turn? Good job. Nice horns up. Okay. And just check our spacing in our woodwinds, side two, especially saxophones, right around the 40 yard line. Mm hmm. Now, careful, let's all step off together there. And let's stop together. Had a couple flute players taking an extra step or two. Um, certainly you understand just trying to make it to the form. Good recovery.
sampling across the group. Um, students seem to have a, a, a pretty strong understanding of where their, their placement is within the form. Um, color guard, if we're going to be, as we stand and we pose, are we, our shoulders at 45 degree angle or are they to the front? Let's just define this so that we have everybody doing the same thing, if that's what you're going for. Okay, appreciate the body movement, certainly appreciate the, uh, the variety that you've added into the show there. Um, let's just make sure that we all step out at the same time and that our foot placement, is it facing the front of the field or are we turning our foot slightly 45? And what's going on with the back leg? Just to find those little moments there, but, but generally very nice for this early in the season. Good. Minor is issues in our intervals, I'm sure you see on your tape. Um, side one between the 45 and the 50. Just not squaring trumpet player, just not being right in between the yard lines. Yeah. Nothing major, just a little, little more to your left and you'll be right in there. Okay, North Oldham, thank you. Um, Certainly understand there's a lot more of the shows still to be put on the field. Um, and uh, what you've got um, has a lot of strong possibilities. Um, the, the students just, it seems as though uh, we have a general understanding of our, our roles within the show and our placement on the field within from form to form. One thing that I might encourage you to do is just uh, keep working in your fundamental block. Um, keep working to define the step style so that it's consistent from person to person continue to work so that our upper body placements are always where we want them to be um, are we supposed to be facing the front or are we supposed to be at a 45 degree angle um, certainly um, as you walk, work your block drill um, work on some lateral slides so that as we change direction from left to right that we don't change our upper body orientation um, hopefully uh, some of the comments that I've made will help you for your performance this evening and, and prepare you for the rest of the season um, it's been a pleasure. Thank you.